Well, hello and welcome to this uh, rather uh, um, peculiar video. Peculiar in the sense that I'm using this video to reply to a comment made by Valeria. And it's becoming increasingly difficult to reply to comments uh, using the new YouTube system. So I'm not using the, the taking the usual step to use a, a video to reply to a comment. Now, she wants to know, she says, uh, what if I need to find the opposite from a stretch? Uh, how do I describe it? Now, I wasn't quite sure what she meant there. So I'm going to try and use what I've created here to answer as many uh, questions as I can. Hopefully that might um, help her answer the, help her to find the answer she needs. Okay. And okay, so what I've got here are two objects, uh, two squares, A, B, C, D, and E, F, G, H. Now for this uh, uh, transformation, the X axis here is the invariant line, which means that all the X coordinates for the object do not change, but the Y coordinates do change. So if we've got a check factor of minus two, I'm saying minus two here because that would be the opposite of uh, positive stretch factors I used earlier for in this video here. So uh, from that video, we saw that the new y coordinates will, will be the stretch factor times the old y coordinate. Okay, so for instance, a prime, which is the transformation of a, uh, sorry, which is the, which is the value of a after transformation by stretch. So a prime is going to be uh, zero minus four, because uh, the coordinate of the y coordinate of a is two, and minus two times two gives us minus four there. So a is there somewhere. Similarly, b is is going to be there. So now b is 2 minus 4, and c prime is 2, 0, and d prime is 0, 0. So c prime and d prime coincide because the object is, because c, d lie on the invariant line. Okay, so now our completed uh, transformed image is going to be this. Now, note here that even though we use a negative stretch factor, the area is still double the area of the object as you would expect, even for a positive stretch factor. Yeah. Now, the question is, now suppose you don't know all these, and you're given this, and you're asked to find the uh, stretch factor. Now, bearing in mind here that the invariant line is the x-axis, I want to find the displacement. The displacement has got the displacement has got magnitude, uh, it's got direction. So we measure from there uh, and we count uh, one, two, three, four. And because we're going down, because we're going downwards is minus four. And then we, if we divide that by the y coordinate of the object point, the object point in this case being b, the y coordinate of b is two so if we divide minus four by two we get minus two if that makes sense so now i'm going to transform e f g h to e prime f prime g prime and h prime uh, can you pause the video and then work out the the uh how we transformed e f g h to e prime f prime g prime and h prime pause the video please right now hopefully you will have worked out that uh, the displacement is going to be from the invariant line which is x-axis and if you count one two three four five six and because you're going downwards is minus six and uh, the f coordinate is three so if you divide minus six by three, you get minus two. And that will give us the stretch factor that transformed 
uh, object e f g h to object e prime f prime g prime and h h prime and note again here that the area there is double the area there as well okay now and that's what you got there now to confirm this using a transformation matrix uh, we have something like this here now this is the transformation matrix for stretch and that is the stretch factor of minus two now all the x values remain the same okay and the y values will change so zero times four is zero minus two times three is minus six minus six plus zero give us minus six hence that point there similar for this one here and zero times six is zero minus two times one is minus two minus two plus zero goes minus give us minus two and so we've got minus two minus two there and I hope all that made some sense. Uh, thank you for watching and please, please subscribe.